never get this thing to work right. I didn't want oh, hi kids, and welcome to Creature Feature. Mm -hmm. Now we're having fun in the, the lab today, and you're gonna have fun too with tonight's movie, whatever it is. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, it looks like uh, these guys here keeping themselves occupied with uh, uh, mm -hmm. some sort of project while I'm trying to work on this piece of junk. You know, I hate work. It's just mm -hmm. one of those pesky diversions in life that get in the way of having fun like these guys have been having for quite some time. So uh, uh, tell me, Larry and uh, Nurse Cassie, what have you two been working on over here? We're working on a kitten puzzle. Did you know that puzzles are good skill builders for the brain? Yeah. Oh, really? Um, and just how long have you guys uh, been working on this uh, little project here? Uh, it's a big one. I'd probably say uh, six months or so. I mean, hmm. it's a hundred pieces, Doc. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, tell you what, uh, skill builder, huh? Well, when you guys are done with that, I got a rocket project that you two could build for me. <laughs> there! Larry, I think we're all done. Yeah. Ta-da! What do you think, Doc? It took us a long time, but I think it's pretty good myself, huh? huh? Well, uh, yeah, I guess it is a, uh, uh, a kitten to... Yeah to some abstract degree, and uh, it's, it's, it's very nice, and hey, why, would you, why do you guys got all these extra puzzle pieces left over? Oh, they always give us more puzzle pieces in case some of them disappear or get lost, you know. Or in case we need a high fiber diet. Someone's on the phone. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, no, 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 I don't think that's a very good idea. I got this, dude, let me get it. No, hello, <laughs> this is the wolf man, and you're speaking to me today. I'm live on Doc's phone right now, right here, where I'll be spinning all the greatest answering machine hits, such as, I'm not in, but I love you anyway. So leave your message after the beep, and I ain't got no money, so I ain't paying no bills. And this week's top hit, I can hear you breathing, so I'm hanging up, you sicko. Oh, really? <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll tell him, dude. <laughs> Who was on the phone? Was it a creeper? Oh, no, no. Usually they do call a lot, especially for Nurse Lacey. Oh, oh. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, it was the IRS, Doc. They wanted to talk to you. <laughs> and the funny thing is, they said something about a tax audit because you didn't fill out your Affordable Underpants Act form correctly, and it's like a $300 fine, dude. What? $300 Affordable Underpants Act? What in the heck is that? Oh, sure. It's the Presidential Act where if you don't wear federally improved underpants, you'll get fined. Oh, yeah, I know about that program. That's the ones that help the poorest of the poor Americans, uh -huh. <laughs> such as myself, mm -hmm. <laughs> with no personal hygiene yeah. and bad fashion sense. I Indeed. mean, let's face it. But so we can get nice, clean, affordable underpants for us and our families. <laughs> I get them in the mail once a week through this program. All right, let, <laughs> so, so let me get this straight. If I'm not wearing federally approved underpants, then I gotta pay a fine? Yeah. Duh. All right, well, listen, you two knuckleheads. Uh -huh. If anybody comes banging on the door, do not answer the door. Do you understand? Got it. Ah, ah, ah. I'll bet it's those annoying underpants revenuers at the door right now. But you know what? There is nobody home. I'm sorry, but there's nobody home. You can go away now. Hello? Is there anybody there? Hello? There's nobody here right now, so leave a name and number and a message after the tone. Beep! Oh, that's such a shame. Here I was, going door to door, giving out free gourmet dog biscuits uh -huh. and uh, glittery goth nail polish samples. G -g gourmet dog biscuits? No, 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 yeah. no, no. Glittery goth nail no, polish? No, 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 wait. It's a trap! Uh, nobody home, huh? Ah. Let's see here. Yeah, you cannot fool the government, mister, especially when you owe us money. Ah, ah. We're with the IUS. Uh huh. The Internal Underpants Service. Good grief. I'm Agent Weisenheimer. And I'm Inspector 12! Mm hmm. So, Inspector 12, what's your assessment of this situation? Let me see. Hey, hey, bend over. Ah! Hey, get, get out of there. <laughs> They're rather soiled. Note that. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah. And there appears to be a lot of hair back here. Uh -oh. uh. And the waistband itself does not appear to meet the federally regulated underpants oh. guidelines. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm going to need the Sphinctrometer yes, 2000. Yes, what? You will. Huh? What is this? This won't hurt a bit. Uh. For us. Uh. Wait a minute. Hey, hey, that thing is cold. Oh. Get, oh, get it out of there. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. It appears that he is in federal violation according to regulation 2.3, subparagraph 7, subsection 2A.3. Oh. Told you. He failed the sphinctrometer 2000 ah. test. Write that down. <laughs> While I'm writing this down, it looks like you owe your government. Three hundred dollars, and this will go to support the less fortunate Americans who can't always afford quality underwear. Ah, uh, jumping Jehoshaphats. Well, tell you what, kids, why don't we get into tonight's movie? And when we get back, I'm gonna try to work myself out of this little wedge I've gotten myself into. Yeah. Inspector Twelve, are you absolutely certain his underwear is in violation? I will gladly do my duty and check again. Hold still. Ah, ah, ah. Hey. Igor! Ah, ah, ah. Roll the movie! Ah, ah, ah. Hi there, kids, and welcome back. I hope you've been enjoying tonight's spooky feature we've got for you. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we're here in the lab, and I'm trying to work my way out of this little dilemma I got with the, uh, the government here and their uh, affordable underpants act. And uh, it's, they've got all sorts of charts and graphs here, so uh, let's figure out uh, what's going on here. That's what it is. Excuse me, sir. I I'm on the federally underpants program, and I didn't get my underpants this week in the mail, so... Uh-oh. Yeah. I apologize, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, here. Uh, let me rectify the situation. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. There you go. We got a winner. <laughs> They're warm. Yeah, they are. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Minty. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> Uh, I, I got a question. It's like, uh, don't you two have anything better to do than to harass the lower middle working class and uh, uh, bombard us with all these ridiculous rules and regulations to fine us to death? Because you see, I'm quite happy with my underpants. I bought them back in the 1950s when underpants were made by Americans in America with unions and everything. You know, quality underpants. Aha! So you're wearing underpants that are sympathetic to the communist cause, eh, Conrad? Nope. We got nothing else better to do. Okay. That figures. All right. So tell me, what do I got to do to get into the good graces with you two guys and avoid this uh, fee you got for me? Well, let's see here. We just take a look at your income and some quick mathematical calculations. Carry the two. two. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And let's see, now I need to verify your taxable income, and then we go to the underpants chart, and we end up here. What does this all mean? Well, based on your income, you have two styles of underpants to choose from. Two and styles. And there are two styles of government approved underpants as well. Oh, goody. Yep, here's choice number one. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> these are cartoon boxer shorts, and I, I can't wear these because it's a, it's a matter of plate tectonics and stuff with all the shifting around the fault line and stuff. I, I, I got to wear tidy whities I can't wear these underpants. <laughs> Doc, maybe you could relive your childhood and pretend those are superhero underoos, and you could eat sugary breakfast cereal while you watch your cartoons on uh, Saturday morning. Yeah, you're, you're really funny. Go play with your phone. Okay. Uh, this, this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, 
what do I have to do, all right, to get into your good graces in order for me to wear the tidy whities that my body requires? Well, here's option number two, the eye thong from Apple. Mm. The Apple eye thong. Is that it, smart wear? It, it does look technologically advanced, but I ain't wearing these because, because uh, 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 I need to wear tidy whities I'm sorry, but underpants are graded on your mm. income. income. See, 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 now look, here. You are approximately here on the income chart. Uh-huh. Here, and gentlemen of your earning bracket and your demographical location, well, they either wear boxers and drink hard liquor, or they wear thongs with the optional t-shirt and beat their wives. Doc, do you beat your wife in a cartoon underwear? <sighs> what even? No, wait a minute, Nurse Cassie. I'm not even married. Listen, oh. I, I've had enough. What do I got to do to wear my tidy whities? <sighs> Let's see here. Um, these types of underwear should only be worn by men with bachelor's degree or higher and upper middle class professionals like him. Do you have a bachelor's degree? Well, I, I am a bachelor and you guys are pretty good at giving me the third degree. Hey, hey, here, check these out. See this? I earned these underpants. I went to community college. Lay off the asparagus, dude. I went to community college too. I had this really weird pottery teacher. He made us make all of these really weird tall vases. He gave us all good A's, but he sold them all at a Grateful Dead concert. Hmm. I guess all those hippies really needed a vase to put their flowers in. Well, that's nice, dear. Uh, tell you what, I, I got a question for you here. Uh, what would happen if I uh, decided, oh, to not wear any underpants whatsoever? What? What? Uh, what? what? What, 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 what did you say? No underpants. Uh, Going commando. Uh, like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Uh, exactly. Uh, you, you, you can't do that. I, uh, I, I guess I don't think so. There's nothing in here about no underpants. Uh, uh, uh. Hey there, Inspector 12. Why don't you uh, reinspect my underpants? All right. You asked for it. Oh no! Hey lady! He's not wearing any underpants and I I saw his Are you shitting me? Oh. I'll check again. Oh no, there's nothing there but a lot of hair. Oh, I don't believe this! Oh great, here it comes. Uh, here comes what? Everyone knows that Doc has tattoos on both butt cheeks. Although I could probably care less, but in the interest of moving the show along here, I'm just gonna go ahead and ask you a question. Why, for the love of God, why do you have a tattoo on both cheeks? Well, I am glad you asked that question, my boy. Yeah. And you know, it's a long, long, arduous and painful story, which is best left for another time, like the next cut-in. So when we come back, kids, you're gonna watch how I'm gonna slide out of this underpants predicament. Mm. Ah, something just slid out of my underpants. Oh, let's go get you changed. Uh, uh, um, Igor. Roll that movie. Uh, uh, uh. Hi kids and welcome back. For those of you just joining us, we're already well into the butt joke portion of tonight's show. <laughs> hey Doc, how are those tattoos on your butt going to get you out of paying the government's fine? Well, nurse, I'm very glad you asked that. Nurse, how about getting the door? Come on in. If Doc ain't a farting, don't bother knocking. Excuse me, but my name is Lotta Lodebottom, the very famous art appraiser. I am from the very pr pretentious city Art Museum. I heard that you have a very rare Michelangelo find that you would like to have 
professionally appraised? Well, you are absolutely correct. You see, I have a very classic 1508 rarity from the Grandmaster Michelangelo himself that we need to get appraised here. Oh my, never in my life in the world of art did I ever dream that I would find a beautiful work of art from one of the old masters. So, where is this piece? The art is in his pants! Mind your manners, young man! I have no time for your foolish baby talk. Oh my god, I've been blinded! <laughs> blinded by <laughs> such heavenly light! Never in my life in the world of art did I ever dream I would find such a beautiful work of art. Could you explain where you got this piece? I'd be glad to. While a youth in Rome in 1508, as a young medical student, I was hired by none other than Michelangelo to deliver some fresh corpses for him to study for anatomy for his famous work on the Sistine Chapel ceiling. Well, one night when we were both drinking heavily, Michelangelo ran out of parchment paper and using ink and a needle, tattooed two sketches of panels that would later not be used in his famous work. On my right cheek, I have the birth of Chuck, showing Adam's younger loser brother Chuck coming forth from the mud, asking Adam to borrow a fig leaf and an apple, of which he would pay Adam back on Tuesday. Yeah, right. And on my left cheek, I have the lesser known expulsion of St. Alfonso from the pancake breakfast. I could tell you a funny story about that, but it's one of those stories that you, you kind of had to be there. This is so rare and wonderfully executed. So smooth and, and firm. Excellently preserved. I have seen a lot of art in my day, but by far this is the most exciting piece of art in this century. So, how much is Doc's butt worth? Well, uh, it is on living flesh, so uh, I would have to value this piece of art at $100,000,000.63. Furthermore, I am submitting paperwork to have this work of art declared a National Historical Heritage Society site. So, uh, a question I have for you. Do you believe that such a piece of, of work should be, oh, I don't know, stored in something like this? Heavens no! A work of art of this caliber needs to be stored in, uh, in, uh, 100% white cotton, like these. Uh, uh, now we're talking here! Look at that. Hey, hey, uh, Miss Underpants Lady, what do you think about them apples here? You may have starched our shorts this time, but we'll get you. Oh yes, we will get you. Inspector 12? Come on. Hey, lady. Uh, what's this worth? It's a chocolate shih tzu. Ooh. Oh, my heavens. Um. Well, there you have it, kids. Uh, you know, my, my, my butt with its work by the old master has saved the day. And I wish I could say it saved the day once again, but this is actually the first time. <laughs> hey, Doc, I was wondering, why didn't they use those two panels that were on your butt in the Sistine Chapel? Well, I'm glad you asked that. You see, Michelangelo took me over to the Vatican so he could show my artwork here to uh, Pope Julius II to get approval. And uh, I, I kind of made a little social faux pas with the Pope when I, I kind of met him there. What did you do? Here, you know what I do? Who said magic? Magic? Did I hear magic? Did somebody say magic? The great Zambini is here to do magic. Doodly doodly doo.
Nurse Cassie, what is the problem with you today? What is the problem? I see you're bewildered and confused. What is the problem? I'm hungry. You're hungry. You are looking rather thin today. Yeah. You're hungry. What kind of food would Nurse Cassie like to have? Would you like spaghetti and meatballs? How about lasagna? Maybe a slice of pizza. Doodly doodly do. Sambini uh. can make it for you. Have ice cream. Ice cream! You ask for ice cream. I can make pizza, but I'll make ice cream for you. Yeah, well, ice cream. You cake. like ice cream. I'll show you. The box of Zulaku is empty. Ooh, did it look good? I don't know. Oh, but wait. We'll close it up and watch. I'll pour some water in. Water and ice cream. Oh, watch. Oh, 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 oh. I can see the magic happening. The magic is happening. I will now duty in the box. Ooh, duty, 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 do. I wish I could get my dog to do that. But now I will show you. The water has disappeared. Where did it go? Where does the water go? Only Zambini knows. Ooh, doodly doodly do. But wait, you want an ice cream? I have ice cream for you. I will touch it with the magic stone. Doodly doodly do. And just now for you, ice cream. <gasps> looky, looky, look. Ice cream for you. I have ice cream. Yummy, yummy ice cream. Mmm, you like ice cream. Ooh, doodly doodly do. I want a chocolate. Oh, I must be going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm gone. Woo! I didn't get my chocolate ice cream. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we've got for you tonight. And I sure hope you'll come back and join us next week while we run another piece of garbage for you and have fun here in the lab. So here's Doc Sanguinary and the Creature Feature crew wishing you a good night and may you have a nightmare with the monster of your choice. Bye-bye now. Chapel. I wonder where the other 15 are.